Hello, fellow walkers. It's been a while since I've taken you to this special place. So we're taking a detour from my power walk on a damp autumn day in the contemplative forest. And the subject today is something you're not gonna hear anywhere else like most of the biocognition that I talk about. We're gonna go in here to the interminable path our private place in the contemplative forest. And there's your bench. And now we're gonna go here and look at the still water on a beautiful, damp autumn morning. So you see, I don't stop my workouts because of uh, weather. So today I'm gonna to talk about something that uh, it's easier to sell as uh, marketing and uh, being a nice person and quick fixes, but it's pseudoscience. So what I'm going to be proposing today is vulnerability is foolish and empathy is dangerous. And these things are sold as something that you should strive to reach, to be vulnerable, to make you strong or to be empathic, to be a good person. That's pseudoscience. That's not considering the latest research in psychonormonology, which is how thoughts and emotions affect the nervous, immune, and endocrine system, and neuropsychology, how psychological processes affect the brain. So why do I say that vulnerability is dangerous? Well, vulnerability is the susceptibility to harm, either emotional or physical. So who, who would want to do that? First, I'll talk about that, then I'll go to empathy. So, vulnerability is foolish. What you want to do is cultivate selective trust. In developmental psychology, we know that even children as, as early as, as five years old will do what's called trait testing. They'll test the source of what they're going to trust, and they look into how accurate it is in, in their mind and how much they can trust it, and then they go to selective trusting. Then what do you do with selective trusting? The way to cultivate that is to develop what I call precursors of reliability, just like children do, but more sophisticated as an adult. Precursors of reliability will tell you how reliable is the source not just on a one-time basis, but on a pattern basis. Relationships, whatever. You see someone that you meet and is consistently late, consistently insensitive. That person's not meeting the precursor of reliability. So why would you want to be vulnerable to that person? You want to be selective in your trust. Then let's go to empathy. Empathy is dangerous because in empathy, you're feeling the stress from your mirror neurons that are replicating what you're seeing out there and you're feeling the stress as if you were actually having the problem. This is why empathic people, unless they know how to work it out, have terrible health. So what you're doing is you're saying to the brain, there's no difference between this person and me. The mirror neurons will then send information to the amygdala, the area that, that triggers the fear, and you get stress hormones. So what would be the alternative there? The alternative there is compassion. So compassion, what it does is it, rather than saying, I feel with you, your pain, I feel for your pain. I am a different person than you. And there's some selfing that needs to be done. And I'm doing a workshop on that to explain it. But basically what you're doing is you say to the brain, this is me, let me self. And this is the other person. Compassion means you go out what can I do to help? And if I can't do anything, then I feel for you rather than with you. And the way to develop that is by the selfing. This is me. This is me. What can I do for you? When you say this is me and you embody this is me, you get activity of the prefrontal lobe, the medial prefrontal lobe and the insulin areas that have to do with selfing. Then the mirror neurons shut down and they differentiate between you and the other person, then you can help with compassion, not with empathy. So remember, vulnerability 
is foolish and empathy is dangerous. So you want to shift from foolish vulnerability to intelligent selective trust and from dangerous empathy to loving compassion. That's it. And I'm going to do a workshop to show you how to do it, but that's the idea. Vulnerability, foolish, empathy, dangerous. Be at peace and cultivate. Go to my uh, YouTube channel. Quite a bit of information there. It'll, this video will be there, of course. And, uh, and then uh, look into my workshops. So I explain the science of it rather than the sexy labels of things that uh, appear to be good, but they're pseudoscience and can be dangerous. So enjoy. And now I'll go back to my walk.